This video is going to detail how to make a circular visualization of a mitochondrial genome. Using Genome VX, it's a website. The URL is down below in the right hand corner of the screen. We are first going to enter the chromosome name. We're just going to use the species that we are studying right now. So that would be Ucaminax. Um, so we're just going to put that name into the chromosome name bar. Now we are going to enter in the size of the mitochondrial genome. So you're just going to go to your last base pair on your annotation table, copy that, and put it in chromosome size. Um, so that's 15,937 for this specific example. So now we're going to go enter in the gene names into the gene column. So you're going to take the gene name column on your annotation table and copy that into the visualization tool. Okay, so we are going to copy this row. Oops. Okay, we're going to we're going to copy this row and then go back to the website and paste the genes under the genes column. You're going to delete that empty space at the bottom and then also delete the CR putative line. That is control region or the D-loop. That's going to go under miscellaneous features, so make sure you delete that from the genes column. Now we're going to put all of the start nucleotides into the start column. So you're going to copy your start column from your annotation table, just the start column, and then you're going to go back to the website and paste it under the start column. Again, delete the space that it pastes in there, but we have to remember to delete the control region start. So we're going we're gonna to go find the number for that in the annotation table. It's right there. Okay. And we're going to look for it in the column and delete it. So delete the 13,545. Now we're going to go paste all of the end nucleotides. So go find that in the annotation table. Copy that. And then we're going to go paste it back into the website. Delete the extra space. And we are going to go find the control region and nucleotide number. So we found that. We're going to delete that 14,281. And now we're going to go find the strands plus or minus forward reverse from the annotation table. So just again, copy the whole column. And paste it into the website. So delete the extra space and then also delete the space that was left where the control region was. So just to check myself, I'm also going to count the number of plus signs before the, what I thought was the control region and then check it back on the annotation table. And yes, it looks like there are five plus signs on both. So now we're going to delete the numbers under the color column and we will come back to the colors later. So now we need to find the start base pairs of the control region and the end base pairs of the control region. So we're going to go back to the annotation table um, to reference that and copy those numbers and then go paste it back in there, delete the extra space. There's the end base pair, and we're going to paste that for the control region. Okay, so now we are ready to go ahead and create the visualization. 
So I'm just gonna click medium box weight just to see what that looks like. And click draw genome, but it doesn't work. So if you'll notice, um, this website will show you an error at the bottom. It'll tell you what you've done wrong if something is wrong and what you've put in there. So it's just telling me that I forgot to delete this character under the miscellaneous features section. So now we're actually gonna go figure out the colors that I was mentioning before. So you're gonna click on the button that says auto color existing genes. And that is going to assign colors to each gene. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and make our visual now. So we're gonna draw the genome and it downloads onto your computer as a PDF file. So there it is. Um, so you can also go in and change the way it looks depending on your preferences. So we're gonna go do that. So you can go to diagram orientation and just change the way that the genes go, either counterclockwise or clockwise. So here is a clockwise version. We were looking at a counterclockwise version. There it is, the original um, versus the clockwise version. Um, so it's just preference. Um, you can also, as I had mentioned before, go change the box weight. Um, we've already done medium, so this is what heavy looks like. It just makes it a little bit thicker. Um, or we could do light. So we can also choose the colors for the genes ourselves instead of auto coloring. And then we can change the number of scale marks. So scale marks just measure the length of the gene. So instead of six, we did 20. And so there's 20 versus six, what we'd had before. And so, yeah, you can just kind of make it your own that way. Hopefully this was helpful in figuring out how to make a visual of your mitochondrial genome. Thank you so much for watching.